Hey there everybody, Tamara Shama here, rotoexperts.com. I can't believe it, but we're already in week five of the NFL season. The season is flying right by, and right now we're going to take a look at start sits at the running back position for week five. And the one and only start I have for you this week at the running back position is Ryan Matthews. He's going to be going up against the Raiders in Oakland this upcoming weekend. And a lot of people right now are down on Ryan Matthews from a fantasy perspective. And, and personally, I'm not really seeing why. I understand that Matthews has had a slow start to his NFL career, missing, of course, week three with the injury and not really doing much in the other three weeks. But this Chargers team is still committed to Ryan Matthews as their number one running back, as their starting running back. And you can see why. You, you look at week four, he had only nine carries being brought back slowly from that injury, but 55 yards on the ground in those nine carries and an all-important touchdown. Still a pretty good fantasy week for Ryan Matthews considering the limited touches that he did get in week four. I look for him now two weeks removed from that injury to really increase his carries a lot in week five. Look for him to get anywhere from 18 to 22 carries this upcoming weekend, and that's really good news because he's going up against a brutal, and I mean a brutal, run defense in the Oakland Raiders. The Oakland Raiders are giving up 162 yards per, uh, per game on the ground through the first four games. They've already also already given up five rushing touchdowns this season. Really a bad run defense, and I think that means that Ryan Matthews is going to have a big week. He's a solid running back, too, in all leagues next week, and even in deeper leagues, you can look at him as a running back one. Looking at the two sits I have for you this week, the first one is D'Angelo Williams. He's going to be going up against the Bears at home, and, and Williams this season has really been underwhelming. We, we knew coming into the season that he'd be losing touches, losing carries to Jonathan Stewart, and that has happened, but he really hasn't been great with the carries that, he, that he's had this season. He is averaging 4.8 yards per carry, but he hasn't broke the, broken the 100-yard mark yet. He only has one touchdown, and he, he, he's really not getting involved in the passing game. He's only caught four passes in the first four games, so really not a great start for D'Angelo Williams, and I really see him struggling uh, again in week five, even more so than he's done through the first four weeks because he's going up against a really good run defense in the Chicago Bears. I look at Williams this week as a borderline flex guy, uh, if that. And if you have better options, especially in, in medium to, to shallower leagues, I would look elsewhere and put D'Angelo Williams on your bench. The second sit I have for you this week is Michael Turner of the Atlanta Falcons. He's going to be going into Cleveland to face the Browns this upcoming weekend. And Turner, uh, much like uh, much like D'Angelo Williams, has been underwhelming this season. And you look at him compared to what he was a couple of years ago, and he's just simply not the same back. He, you know, he nearly had 1,700 yards in 2008, double-digit touchdowns that year. Uh, but as you look at him now, he's only averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Uh, you look at the first six seasons he was in the league, he never averaged less than 4.5 yards per carry. So this guy is really not showing the same burst through the hole, the same ability to get four, five, six yards a carry as he was able to do uh, through his first six seasons in the league. And, and he's also losing touches to Jason Snelling, who had a good week when Turner was out a couple of weeks ago due to injuries. So I really don't see him as a great fantasy option right now. He's going up against a Browns run defense that has yet to allow a rushing touchdown this season. I really would put him on your bench unless you're desperate for a running back in week five. For more fantasy football analysis, keep it right here at rotoexperts.com. You can also follow Roto Experts on Twitter. The Twitter handle is at rotoexperts. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at rotoexperts underscore TC. And don't forget to listen to Scott Engel and Adam Ronis every morning, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Friday on Sirius XM. It's Sirius 211 XM 147. Stay tuned in a couple of days for sit starts at the quarterback position. Until then, see you later, everybody.